Hi, Keshav here. Welcome back. As part of PySpark video series, let's get started with the next video. In previous videos, we saw creating data frames, creating some functions, and also joining multiple data frames and other stuff. All right, in this video, just I wanted to show you how do we convert our functions into user-defined functions? How do we register those functions to be used in Spark SQL? All right, let's get started. I already logged into my Databricks Community Edition and I imported the required modules in here. And I defined some data, some sample data with the required schema. So let me just execute. All right, now I'm gonna create one data frame here. Let me just go ahead and create data frame. Spark.create data frame. And here data is the data that I defined. And schema is the one which I defined in here. So I'm just creating a data frame. Let me display as well. All right. So for data frame is created and we could see the data as well. Before going ahead, just let me tell you exactly what I'm planning to do here. So if you look at the data here, Mitchell Jones and location is London, David Harry, location is London, Jane Paul, Staines, Keshav B, Staines, right? So data has got all small letters. What exactly I wanted to do here is I want to convert data into camel case. Like first letter of uh, name, should be capital letter and first letter of location also should be capital letter that's what my aim is here all right so for that i'm just going ahead and creating the function to convert uh, into camel case let me just go ahead and do that i'm gonna create a function so i'm gonna name it as camel case All right, so the input column, just I will say that CLMN, that's okay. So start from, I would say start position. It should start from the first position. So it should start from in here. It should start from here. So what are the column I'm just passing to this function? that column value should be converted into camel case, okay? And also here, if you observe, name has got oh, first name and last name, right? So there is space in between. So I need to convert first name as well as last name both. That's what my requirement is. So for that, what I'm gonna do, what are the value I'm passing in here? So it should be split at uh, space because it has got two names so it, it should be split and and first letters of first name and last name should be converted into camel case so i'm gonna just split it so uh, i'm gonna use for a uh, loop here for x in uh, i'm gonna just say start position equals to start position plus start from here and then x of first letter that first letter would be at the position zero take letter at zero position take only one letter then convert that into upper done then append the rest of the value to the first letter that we already converted so then again x of start from first position just take all the uh, rest of the string from first position till the length of x till the length of x and then append it then space all right till then okay then append the space as well in case if there are two names all right then return so there is some intendation error yep it's been executed successfully okay our function is created um, now, we need to convert this function into user defined function. So, for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just convert that into user defined function. I'm going to just say, I'm going to just give different name udf camel case underscore 
camel case udf equals to so by using udf function we can convert r function into user defined function through lambda function so lambda lambda x then it should be converted by using the function that we created that's it so user defined function is created now what i'm going to do i'm going to just put select statement on that data frame and we'll see whether our function is working as expected or not so df dot select call of id then we need call of name call of location all right now let me close the bracket dot show so here we are not converting let's see the data as is so here data is as is first letters are still with small case all right now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use this function to convert this both the column data to have camel case i'm converting even location as well so my bracket yep let's execute there is some error let's see what is the error camel case udf camel case udf it's correct only call of location okay there should be one more bracket here for select statement so that's what the error is all right see it's been converted now but i don't see second name i can see only first name in here so let's see what happened why is not there so all right so there was um intendation problem so now uh we positioned it correctly so now we could see that both first name and last name and uh, the first letters of the names been converted into capital first letter of location also been converted into capital so that's what our expectation is so it's working as we expected all right now um, we can't use this function in spark sql right to use this function in spark sql uh, we need to register that so that we can uh, let's see how do we do that so before registering let's see whether we can use or not now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just say rdf i'm gonna create it as create or replace temp view i'm gonna name it as test data create or replace temp view all right there is temp view created now let me execute select statement in there percentage sql and select star from test data all right so there is data uh, there is view created and also we could see the data in here but still those are with uh, small cases data is not being converted now i'm gonna just id comma name comma location still the same let's try using that function directly in spark sql okay so now let me try even for location so it says that the function is not registered right so before doing this let's register the function first i'm gonna just say spark dot udf register and i'm gonna name it as 
again camel case let me give same name the function that I'm gonna register is this so let me copy it and uh, by default it will be rated as string in case if you want in different data type of course you can go for it for me it's okay to written as string so it's been registered now I'm gonna just execute this select statement again all right I could able to use the function in select statement all right so this is how we can create our function and convert that into user defined function in case if you want to use the same function in uh, Spark SQL, it has to be registered like this. All right. Okay. Now, so let's make our function as uh, null safety. In case, for example, I'll make this as none. For for this record, just assume the rec uh, location is missing. It's none. And uh, in here, name is missing. All right. So in case if our data has got null. I mean here none is nothing but nulls so let's see whether our function is working or not all right see here this value is null and here this value is null now let me just straight away execute our function again and execute that here then all right it's it is throwing error saying that none type because there are some null values right so how do we handle that to handle that there are two ways here we can make our function null safety or we can filter out the data those those values got nulls right uh, but i want to make our function null safety so what i can do here uh, you know while converting our function into uh, user defined function what i can do I can put a condition here if x is not none then only use this function else call x as is without function so I'm gonna just execute this and let me execute this as well all right see here even though there are nulls still we are able to convert and wherever nulls are there those that that value will be skipped all right so this is how we can make our function null safe and we can handle even though if there are nulls in our data all right okay so but our function that we registered for spark sql still it's not null safety let's see still we are getting this error none type but whereas function which we can converted into user defined in PySpark, it is working fine. It's been handled. It's null safety now. But still, uh, the register function is not null safety. So for that, what we can do while registering itself, we can make it null safety. All right. So by using lambda function, so I'm going to use lambda of x, the function and x if x is not none then use this function else call x as is what are the column we are just um, you know we, we are trying to convert in case if the column value is not none then use this function else ignore the function all right that's how we are registering now so it's been registered jump view it's been registered now let me execute our query all right now the register function also is null safety and we are able to handle if there are any null values all right this is how we can convert our function into user defined function and we can make null safety in PySpark and we also saw how do we register our function for spark sql and how do we make null safety in spark sql all right i hope this is clear for you guys thanks for watching my video we'll meet again with a different concept until then bye bye thank you